Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. Join our community, build by investors for investors at richtv.io. And I must bring your attention today to F. LGC on the NASDAQ, Flora Growth, a cannabis company that is growing internationally in five countries and growing. And I'm telling you, I'm really impressed with this company. I've also been able to interview some of the management. This is a growing company on the NASDAQ that has, I believe, enormous potential with a tight share structure fully diluted under 100 million shares. Love to know what you guys think. Don't touch that dial. We're going to go through it exclusively here with your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. Make sure you subscribe. Now let's take a look at Flora Growth on the NASDAQ right here, right now. This is the website for Flora Growth at floragrowth.com. Investing in growth. There's an investor center a breakdown of their story, their people, sustainability, brands, and news and events, governance, investor frequently asked questions, and contact us. You can scroll down and you can see it begins with people. Our mission at Flora Growth is to build a design-led collective of plant-based wellness and lifestyle brands that deliver the most compelling customer experiences in the world, one community, at a time, you can see that they were listed on the NASDAQ under the symbol FLGC. You can see our people, brand builders, disciplined operators with a proven track record. So you can see the president and CEO, chief strategy officer, chief marketing officer, and chief commercial officer. Our brands lead by design. Design informs everything we do. Beyond product, we strive to design the very best experience in everything we create at every touch point. Product design, assortment, UX, packaging, social and environmental thoughtfulness. The ability to bring this all together motivates people to engage and experience what we have to offer. And the framework, cultivation, the labs, brands, research. 100 hectares of stunning Colombian cultivation and the laboratories are built to the highest level of GMP certification and boost world-class capabilities from cannabis extraction and built on the foundation of delivering the ultimate experience at every touch point. Flora Gross House of Brands seeks to explore the most cutting edge applications of the cannabis plant and it derives to provide once again, the hectares, 100 hectares of stunning Colombian cultivation. And you can see here, 100 hectares, 400 products, four global offices, and seven distribution countries. Investors, how we build for a better tomorrow. At Flora Growth, we are seeking to build the next generation of cannabis company, our aim is strategic global growth, leveraging our commercial and wholesale capabilities, house of brands, and life sciences. Headquartered in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and the IPO was about a year ago in May of 2021. You can see all the news and events. So all their top news and events. And I wanna show you guys their deck. So this is the company overview. I also want to remind you that every single company that we do overviews with or we interview, we will create a group chat and post it on richtv.io. There will be a group chat where investors and members and shareholders can go and chat about this specific company, Flora Growth. And once this video is posted, we will create a group chat on richtv.io, so love to see you there. Now, this is the company overview. 
some stunning properties and rolling hills. And once again, the mission is to build a design-led collective of plant-based wellness and lifestyle brands that delivers the most compelling customer experiences in the world, one community at a time. And a focus on their people. We talked about that. And why are we different? It begins with people. Everything is possible with the right people. People have been the key to our strategy and execution, attracting and recruiting contrarian thinkers in each of our key verticals will allow us to remain innovative, move assertively with speed of execution and build a culture that stands alone, design led by design, creating customer experiences. They will talk about where many struggle today, product design, assortment, UX packaging, social and environmental thoughtfulness, the ability to bring this all together motivates people to engage and experience what we have to offer and build community. We build our team. We design to lead the industry all for who? Community. We are a community first organization focused not only on designing remarkable experiences, but including them in our journey to do things differently the right way. And we went through the few members of the leadership team and you can see their experiences. And the board of directors. And the growth strategy highlights commercial global expansion, investment focused on wholesale and distribution partnerships for rapid scale of both CPG and cannabis sales in key markets, multiple cannabis sale agreements signed from markets around the globe, GMP compliant and certified facilities allow for access to both recreational and medical markets. Brands, global house of brands, owned relationship with end customers, high margin business that allows for rapid product market fit testing and launch, over 600 plus products, 70 plus medical cosmetic licenses, and 16,500 points of distribution across Latin America and the U.S. with sales across 13 other countries. Life sciences, clinical research, all natural, organic, ancient medicine brought into the 21st century, owned labs and dedicated team to uncover cannabis untapped potential as a therapeutic. Two clinical trials set to begin at the University of Manchester and Colombian-based, leveraging patent-pending formulation Flora Pharma Division is led by renowned neuroscientist, Dr. Annabelle Manalo Morgan. They are compounding value creation, generate increasing value and margins as we move from left to right, focus on cultivation, manufacturing, and brands. So you can see here the commercial focus manufacturing focus, and the house of brands. Colombia at the vanguard of global cannabis regulation. The new regulations will provide a pathway to increase near-term and long-term revenue, where the following points highlight the impact of this legislative change. So what is permitted? As of February 22nd, 2022, President DACU approved previously announced legisl legislation expanding on Resolution 811. Resolution 227 allows, defines, and establishes all the mechanisms and procedures for the industrial use of cannabis in sectors such as food, beverages, also textile uses in the non-psychoactive component category. So what's permitted? Dry flour, the sale and export of dry cannabis flour, where dried flour accounts for over 50% of the sales demand in the global cannabis market, positions Colombia's cultivators as global supply leaders. In addition, what is permitted? Cannabis, food, and beverage, the manufacturing, sale, and export of cannabinoid ingestible products, including dietary supplements, resulting in the recently signed 10 million distribution agreement. Custom formulations, by permitting cannabinoid medical products through drugstores as custom formulas, access to cannabis products is sustainably increased within the domestic Colombian market. 
and improved marketing capabilities, cannabis marketing restrictions removed, allowing Flora to drive increased awareness across its portfolio of products and driving additional sales through its 1,500 plus points of distribution within Colombia. There's also a focus on expanding global distribution. So you can see here the established markets in green and in the brown markets in development. And our farm and facilities location is our advantage. The Coz Chemos Cultivation Farm located in Bucaramanga, Colombia is licensed to cultivate 247 acres, 100 hectares of cannabis. So they have the right location, slopes of Bucaramanga, 3,000 plus feet above sea level, deep agricultural history, climate 12 plus hour days, three mile per hour winds, 365 days a year, and natural resources, sunlight, natural spring water deposits, and nutrient-dense soil. Low-cost Colombian cannabis cultivation. Flora is, look at this, six cents USD per gram versus the average LPs, which are right now costing $1.49 to $2.36 per gram. So the average cost, Flores cost average is much lower than the closest competitor. In fact, 60% lower than the closest competitor called Clever Leaves. You can see Aurora at $1.49, Afria at $1.85, Sundial at $1.86, and Tilray at $2.36. 247 acres of licensed cannabis grow, 460 grams meter squared annually, and $10 per acre long-term monthly lease with purchase option, $150 monthly utility costs. So that's a small cost. Experience and affordable labor. Low cost without comprising quality. Over 70% of all cut flowers imported to U.S. come from Colombia. Wow, I didn't know that. A strong U.S. dollar provides Flora with a cost average U.S. of $1 for every 3,884.84 pesos. Colombia has highly skilled workforce in agriculture at only one-tenth of the, com the cost compared to the United States. Extraction facility is complete. Cose Chemos has produced the first batch of crude oil through its newly constructed extraction facility. Further, Coz Chemos has initiated the process to become EU GMP certified. Technology is seed to sale traceability, launching differentiated global cannabis product validation, authentication platform for consumers, distributors, and government regulators that offers forensic level seed to sale traceability. And the commercial overview for Flora Labs 1 to 4 Flora Lab is our manufacturing and R&D research and development center that produces pharmaceuticals, cosmetics, nutraceuticals for domestic and international markets, includes product lines that we're private label, white label, and custom formulations. There is currently a track record of success, currently manufacturers and distributing 63 plus OTC products registered with in Vima selling across 2,500 plus distribution channels. And you can see Flora Lab 1, FL1, located in Bucaramanga, Colombia. Flora Lab 2, located in Toberan, Bogota, Colombia. Flora Lab 3, located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And Flora Lab 4, located in Toberan, Bogota, Colombia. Now there is certified manufacturing underpinned by 16,000 square feet facility with modern laboratory. Flora Growth holds three GMP certifications in cosmetics, phytotherapeutics, and dietary supplements. The laboratory has the capability to produce wide range of CBD enhanced products.
All right. So let's talk about nutrition and wellness. Just CBD, the category leading wellness brands, 300 products, 300,000 plus customers and 14,000 stores. This is Just CBD generates audited revenues of US 28 million and EBITDA of US 7 million in fiscal year 2020 across multiple categories, including gummies, tinctures, vape cartridges, creams, pet wellness, among others, all of which we believe to have meaningful long-term growth potential. The acquisition enhances Flora's infrastructure in the United States with just CBD's widespread distribution across mainstream U.S. channels and its production facility in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Consumer technology, vessel industry leader in luxury cannabis consumer technology. So pretty cool technology here, 80 plus products, 150,000 customers, and 90% year over year growth. This expands and diversifies Flora's global distribution channels by adding a high margin category, luxury cannabis consumer technology that complements its existing brand portfolio. Strengthen, strengthens Flora's human capital, capital in the area of brands, design, product, marketing, and sales with the integration of key vessel leaders into Flora's executive team. Enhances CPG capabilities and infrastructure throughout North America and various international markets by leveraging the team's go-to market expertise and e-commerce operations for Flora's entire brand portfolio and provides a clear path to market for international cannabis markets as an ancillary, non-plant touching product portfolio. Food and beverage. So this is Mambe, and you can see milestone flora growth completed inaugural export of CBD food and beverage products to the United States. The H1 2022 initial launch with feature ready to drink RTD cold coffee drinks. Flora Growth has the sole and exclusive license agreement with Tonino Lamborghini SPA for the manufacturing, promotion, and distribution of Tonino Lamborghini branded beverages using broad spectrum CBD for North American and more North America and Colombia. You can see these guys are involved in absolutely everything: personal care, distribution, e-commerce across the U.S. and Colombia launched sales on walmart.com and Coppel in Mexico, completed initial shipment into the UK and Spain, exploring opportunities in other European markets, sold through Falabella's 111 retail locations across North America. Stardog Loungewear and Mind Naturals Stardog Loungewear is a comfortable loungewear made from natural organic materials. You can see distribution, e-commerce, Zuili US, and website Global Brick and Mortar, Bogota, and Miami launched on Macy's.com. And you can see here available at Macy's. And you can see here Kayala as well. Sustainability received industry recognition, Cosmoprof North America for innovative, sustainable packaging. And Flora Life Sciences Research, helmed by director and lead scientific advisor, Dr. Annabelle Manolo Morgan, PhD. Flora's research arm seeks to support leading scientists and research institutions, such as Vanderbilt University and the University of Manchester, to advance access to and research of cannabinoid-based medicine. Delivery, Flora Life Sciences is ground zero for product innovation, creating and building upon novel delivery modalities that provide the best consumer experience is core to Flora's mission. Efficacy, efficacy Flora Life Sciences looks to identify the most efficacious combination of plant-based compounds and derives to provide consumers with products that satisfy the commitment to better living through thoughtful and curated wellness products. Uh, you can see the roadmap and execution timeline. Q1, sorry, Q2 2021 in May, which is about a year ago, Flora Growth did their IPO. In Q3 2021, in July, Avaria JV LOI 
Kalaya brand. And then in August of Q3 2021, Hashi International EU Investment and Distribution. In Q4 2021 in October, Kosakimos Farm GACP certification. In November, Q4 2021, vessel acquisition completed. And then continue on to November, Tonino Lamborghini license agreement. And then December, Q4 2021, Star Dog launch at Macy's. Now, fast forward to 2022, Q1 2022 in February, Israel distribution agreement. And then it continued into February, just CBD acquisition. And then in March, of this year, Q1 expected 42 tons export quota. This includes dry flour. So these are the results of operations. We always like to understand the share structure and understand the earnings. So Flora Growth Corp consolidated statement of loss and comprehensive loss. Figures are shown in thousands of US states dollars. And you can see here their revenue, their cost of sales, gross profit before gain on fair value of biological assets. You can see operating expenses, operating loss, net loss for the period, and other comprehensive loss. You can see the shares outstanding, 75.5 million. We'd love anything under 100 million with options and warrants of 13.9 million and fully diluted shares outstanding of 89.4 million. So that's a nice tight float. And you can see 2019 to 2022 revenue performance growing ex exponentially in the millions. And this year we should see a huge bump in revenue as well. All right, thank you so much. Love to know what you guys think about this video and you can contact them at info at floorgrowth.com. Now, I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we believe that the cannabis sector is a growing sector that has been extremely heavily oversold. We think this is a company that everyone should put on their radar and put on their watch list. Love to know what you think about floral growth. Once again, you can go to their website at floragrowth.com. Love to know what you guys think about this video. Comment on the video. Are you a shareholder of Flora Growth? Are you planning on investing in Flora Growth? Love to know what you think. This is Rich from Rich to be Live. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners. We bring in the news. We bring in the analysis. We bring CEO interviews and we bring it to you first. Your boy Rich from Rich to be Live bring you Flora Growth and I'm out. Thank you.